GSO code A. Uh, yeah, there's a crowd there, but it's not a crowd like this. Uh, it's a bit smaller, you know, especially if you're playing. I think he was playing in the earlier session, so people are like at work and stuff, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not like it's not like you have a, a roar of cheers when uh, your name is announced and stuff like he's about to have here. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, and his team is now down 0-1, and he's going into this game playing against the god of StarCraft and Flash. So, I mean, just looking at things here, it's pretty stressful. Uh, I feel like the Code S win might give him a little bit more confidence, though. I hope so. I hope we see a great game from this guy. I mean, he, he obviously does have the ability to. It's just about overcoming that hurdle and, and performing well in this, in this league. And there's Flash. Looking yeah. handsome, looking ready. One thing to note is that TVP is definitely not his strongest matchup. In fact, his weakest. Um, down there at 5 and 6. His other ones against Terran, he's 5 and 2. Against Zerg, he's 8 and 5. Ooh. So definitely having trouble in this matchup. Could definitely favor Terminator here. Yeah. Um, that's actually like... And we're not going to take a look at our predictions. I voted for Flash. But, I, I did too. But actually, I would I change my vote to Terminator. Or rather Flash. Oh, no, actually, no, Terminator I did vote for Terminator. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm like, Wolf going to get I actually closer? thought I voted for I Flash. Like, I thought I'm like, you voted for Terminator. Oh, there you are. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna terminate. All he's the gonna Terminator terminate. Terminator, like, yeah. terminate, man. Uh, it's actually, it's like, it's really gonna happen. I'm telling you guys, I actually give him the edge here. Yeah. Played much better than Flash did in Code, uh, Code A, and he showed some really, really solid play. Also, I feel like on this map right now, I think Protoss is pretty favored in this matchup, in my, in my honest opinion. Sure. So yeah. that's very fair. I mean, it definitely goes to the late game, and we've all seen Protoss do so well in the late game against Terran. So we'll have to wait and see. That we will. All right, guys, it's time. Game number two, Jin Air versus KT Rolster. Let's find out if KT can tie, or rather, if Jin Air can tie it up. Down here on the bottom right, in the green for Jin Air Green Wings, it's Terminator. And up to the top left in red, it's the god of StarCraft Flash. Kat Young Ho, as they call him. Yeah. And except this guy, he says Yi Young Ho. He doesn't, he doesn't do the got thing on his sign. But uh, not always, you know, not everybody has to do that. No. Of course not. You know, everybody can be the. They can be a fan the way they want to be. You know, that's their favorite player. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's date night. Date night. Are probably, oh, they're holding the hands. Uh, and oh, if oh. she if she agrees to go to pro league on date night, she's a keeper. I think she could be the one. I think she is the one. <laughs> I think so. You know, he's gonna marry this girl. You gotta. You gotta. Maybe that. Maybe it's time. You know. Maybe he's actually like. You know, I noticed that there was a ring on the left finger. I mean, hey, I don't maybe, maybe tonight's like kind of like, is she, is she the one? And he's gonna take it to pro league, and if she enjoys it, she is. Yeah, That's and if the, she doesn't, the final test, man, it's she, the final four. It, yeah, it's the, it's the last test. And if she doesn't, he's definitely gonna go on Kakao Talk and block her and never talk to her again. <laughs> gonna delete her from Facebook. Delete her from Facebook. Uh, Remove her from Skype. Unfollow her on Twitter. He's he like doesn't use MSN Messenger anymore, but he's like gonna <laughs> log in and remove her <laughs> and like log out. <laughs> And then also block her email address. Wow, dude, that's actually like he's like gonna call KT. He's gonna block her on the phone as well. Oh like, oh man, that, that's that's a little too far. I think that's really mean. It's also he's like also gonna like throw everything away that he's ever had of hers in his house. That's how hardcore of a Stockrock fan this guy yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> he is nuts. He's like, you know what? That was a, that was it. That's it. Everything about you is perfect, but you just Ooh. couldn't enjoy the, this playoffs. We got some SCVs going on the map here. What do you think this uh -oh. is going to be? Because I think it's going to be proxy, maybe factory. Widow mine drop? Maybe. I could see a lot of damage being done with widow mines in this patch, especially. What is? Okay, so one's just a scout. One's a scout, and the other one's a could be an eBay the other block one's a as well. Sneaky guy. He's going to eBay block. eBay block and factory into Starfoot. Into it's got that gas building up. We're going to see a factory over here. Mm. Could be, could be mind drop. Could be banshee. By the way, I love this building placement. Oh, oh that's actually looks so fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what does that say? Oh, uh, let's see you at the finals. 
I'll see you at the finals, basically. It's a picture of Flash, like, a parting saying, like, I'll see you at the finals, Flash. Like, <laughs> um, so, uh, all right, so this is, um, this is going to be pretty interesting. The building placement seems to, like, be so smart against possible proxy reapers yeah. or, you know, even a, a, a drop that's, like, really, really close, like some sort of, like, factory placement well, there. So that's pretty cool. It, it'd be good for sure against, like, uh, Reaper. But, uh, I mean, like, later on in the game, if Terran scouts it's like, oh, okay, I can, I can uh, like, unpower your gateway there. Like, Free Cyber Core, too. Yeah, I mean, it can do damage later on. So good for the Reaper, but bad for kind of, like, late game drops especially. This this yeah. eBay by the way was like a ninety seven ninety eight eBay like it, it like is like the best you could ever hope for like oh, yeah. he actually gets like that whole that all the hit points in there a oh, starport goes down that's not going to be detection widow mine and yes Stargate you're right unless it's an oracle then we can see, still see some detection if he has the energy for it yeah they'll, they'll have to wait and see where he's going to go with that thing I mean I'm pretty sure he'll be really out of position when that drop comes in. So things can get dicey here, but I mean, at the same time, Oracle can kill Flash because he's not going to have the same sort of uh, marine production he would originally yeah. if he wasn't doing a proxy. So, I mean, let's see. Marine smooth out. Oh, this is actually so lucky the timing it comes in here. Exactly you said, Brandon, the Marines are done at that exact <laughs> moment. <laughs> All right, the ISV is like, I've done what I need to do. I'm out. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the Marines want to come down here and accompany the Medivac. So yes. he's going to have even less any air. By the way, Look what is this. this? Wow. Building placement out of Terminator this game. Really wonky. It's so hard to scan everything he's doing. This is insane. Okay, so Oracle will grant detection, but will it be out of position? Or will it die to the Widowmine anyways? He has to be super careful with how he controls this. Uh, okay, they both come out at the same time. Double Widowmine drop. Where's the pull? Where's the pull? Where's the pole? Where's the pole? Oh, oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> say goodbye to your economy, Terminator. Now, he has to make a tough choice. I think he's going to take a second Oracle. This Oracle has to do equal or more damage, or Flash has basically already won this game. Well, he's We're got looking at 10, 10 kills he has to do. He gets one. Oh, he's actually just going to fight this with a stalker. He can. He can. And oh. this is going to become a crazy game, guys. Okay, the Mothership Core is coming across as well. And you know what? I think he might actually want to send that second Oracle straight across the map. He's going to kill these two Marines at the cost of his first Oracle. But more units are walking across the map. And he has those extra two gateways from earlier. Where's his pylon? Looks like it's in the middle of the map right now. Oh, God, he's got to move. Oh, no. What is at that uh, pylon, by the way? Looks like maybe a probe. No, is that like, is that actually just one pylon or something? Like, okay, anyway, hold that thought. He's going to actually fight these now, and the SCVs are coming off here. This is actually crazy because that medevac is helping out a lot, and here come the oh next no. wave of these shots. Oh. You he know what? Time. This is too much damage, and I'm so surprised we didn't see the Oracle. <laughs> oh, oh, my he God. It up. oh, just happened. Welcome to the new patch. Um, I think we're actually seeing some nerves here. Moonglade, your analysis was spot on. Uh, about what we might be seeing in this one. Going up against a player like Flash in this type of situation, I mean, that w that could not have been any more novice, like what we just saw there. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, didn't he see the front page of Reddit where it said you can't kill a bro with Widow Mine with probes? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is huge damage. And I'm, I'm really surprised that Terminator didn't bring his second Oracle across. I think he, that was his kill move. It was like both sides were doing like advantageous builds if they get to the other base and like, deal with what's there and I mean there wasn't any Marines left if there was an Oracle sitting on top of those barracks and he's constantly killing all the Marines while bringing more stalkers across he could have maybe won the game but now he's got a completely destroyed economy he's got one Oracle but there's turrets now yeah uh, Stim is almost done he's got medevacs to continue to drop also those units also I want to point out that sta uh, not stats excuse me uh, Terminator also didn't just put his probes at the other base that he had yeah that's what I was gonna say why didn't he just move the probes he's got another Nexus with no widow mines well he I could have just gone down yeah but I think at one point there, there was a one widow mine at each base ah okay okay so that's kind of why he, but he should have maybe split them up a little bit more so they weren't gonna get destroyed GG's. GG. GG. yeah I think he did send a third widow mine actually walking yeah. over that base from his factory yeah you're right I forgot about that well, damn. Wow. That was actually like so one-sided. Like, this is one of those predictions I make that's a bit off, and like, and then I just look really silly. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was fine, and I mean, he was up to Terminator to make something happen from that. He didn't react to the drop. He didn't. Uh, he didn't do enough damage with his Oracle. 
It was his choice, and it, he had the chance to. It wasn't like a game over for him, but he made the wrong choices. So, what do you guys think about this? I mean, in both of these games, we saw a gamble. Game number one, gamble on the island. Game number two, gamble on the proxy. Um, you know what's really, really sad to me about game number two is we never really got to see exactly what uh, what Terminator wanted to show us. His gateway placement was insanely cool. Yeah. You know, he had uh, his Oracle coming out, so maybe maybe he's going to try to burst the bunkers or something. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it was going to be like an all-in, a gateway Oracle all-in from that point of view, putting it in such a cool place. I mean, it's so exciting for this, uh, this match because we're seeing such, like, so many, like, original sort of ideas and so much research being put into this, like they're taking it to the next level and just doing crazy stuff now. Yeah, just like we saw last week, CJ really, really doing that uh, in their matches, really, oh, really yeah. picking some very specific builds. CJ, I, I feel like they, they felt like at the time they had to do something special to defeat SKT, but here we're just seeing both teams bring out these really cool strategies. Even Flash with the, you know, the proxy with Alliance here, very good strategy, especially with the buff. You know, doing a ton of damage. I feel like Terminator definitely could have responded a little bit better, but still pretty cool. Yeah. Next up, True vs. Myuncic on Overgrowth. I mean, another sick, sick game. We'll have to wait and see if Myuncic is going to bring something to the table as well. I mean, KT obviously have done their research and are practicing like crazy for this, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see something out of this world for the next matchup. Oh, it's actually what I'm thinking we're going to see. That's why I was asking you guys earlier, because I'm like, I don't know, these, these builds are starting to look 